The delayed choice quantum eraser has long been a subject of controversy, and has been looked at as being incomprehensible to having retrocausal effect in time. Here we analyze a delayed choice quantum eraser using a Mach Zender interferometer, instead of a conventional two slit interference, which brings in surprising clarity. A Mach Zender interferometer is a simplified version of a two slit interference experiment. An incoming particle is split into two paths by a beam splitter. After traversing two different paths, another beam splitter brings the two paths together. The two paths constructively interfere at the detector D1, and interfere destructively at detector D2. This leads to all particles landing up at D1, resulting in the bright fringe. No particle registers at D2, so it represents the dark fringe. One can now introduce a quantum path detector in the upper path of the interferometer. The path detector has only two states. The two paths get correlated with the z-states of the path detector. Reading out the z-states can tell us which path the particle followed. However, this results in a loss of interference. The particles are equally likely to register at D1 and D2. Alternately, one may choose to read out the X states of the path detector. The two X states of the path detector are correlated to two different combinations of the two paths of the interferometer. Reading out the X state tells us that the particle followed both paths, like a wave, and the which path information is erased. Corresponding to each X state of the path detector, the particle lands up at only one of the two detectors. For a particular X state, the particle shows interference, with one detector detecting particles, and the other showing blank. This phenomenon is called quantum eraser, as erasing the path information brings back the interference. However, the two interference patterns are mirror images of each other, and together they cancel each other out. Now what happens if the particle is allowed to hit the detectors D1 and D2 first, and the path detector is read out after a delay? It is widely believed that reading out the z-states of the path detector will give us the which path information and reading out the x-states will erase this information to give interference. It appears that one can influence the past of a particle. This work shows that this belief is incorrect. In the delayed mode, the particle hitting a particular detector uniquely determines the x-state of the path detector, and tells us that the particle followed both the paths and not one of the paths. So, it is the particle registering at D1 or D2 which erases the which path information, and not the reading out of the path detector states later. In the delayed mode there is no which way information present after the particle is registered at the final detectors, contrary to popular belief. Each detected particle definitively sets the X state of the path detector, thus erasing the which way information. This novel correlation can be tested in an experiment. In the delayed mode, each particle travels both the paths, always. So, there is no real mystery in the experiment, and no retrocausal effect whatsoever. <laughs>